What's going on everybody? Comic DJ here. I just came back from NTX Comic Con and it was pretty cool. I did pick up about 10 books. I'm going to show you those and a couple other little things that we grabbed. So the first thing I want to show you these hard cases. I thought this was sick. It's I mean, my green screen's kind of messing it up a little bit, but uh, you know, if you've ever ever been to a con and you just want to put your books in something or maybe you're just storing them, I, I don't know. It's pretty sick. Guess how much this cost? Only six dollars. So I, I decided for six bucks I'll buy two of them. That's all they had left. If they would have had more than two of these, I probably would have bought ten. I'm not even I'm not even joking. Six bucks? Man, the regular one that I have, which is right here, I think goes for like 15 or 13 bucks i mean this thing is boring it's lame it does protect your comic but for six bucks man i just could not believe this i seriously would have bought tons of these um I'd, I'd love to put my more expensive comics in these so definitely great pickup for six dollars i also want to start by saying i would have purchased a lot more i intended to spend a fair amount of money my wife didn't really care it's gonna be my last comic con until i go uh, over to korea so I mean, we wanted, well, she didn't want me to spend money, but I, I got the okay to spend a decent amount of money, right? But a lot of people just would not work with me, you know? And I wasn't lowballing these people. I mean, for example, I was looking at this one guy, he had an amazing Spider-Man 15, and the condition was not great at all, um, which is fine. And he wanted like $350, right? And so I look at it, and I just didn't feel like it was worth $350 for the condition it was in. I felt like maybe it was like a $250 book, right? But you know, I really wanted it. So I was like, I'll give you 275. So 275 from 350. And again, I didn't really feel like it was quite worth 275. He's like, no, 350. I was like, okay, you know what? 300 then. I'll give you 300 for it. 350. Like, really? Like, you're not even, you didn't even say like 325 or 340, nothing. Like, you just will not move. Okay, you're not going to budge on the uh, Amazing uh, Amazing Spider-Man 15. Get it. Go on to the next book. Same guy. And I was looking at uh, Spider-Man 121 and this thing was not in good condition once again there's like large stains on it he said he wanted 350 for it and I'm just looking I'm just like wow this is I mean I know I can go on eBay right now and get it way cheaper already graded for the condition that it's in I mean it might have been like a 4.0 I just didn't feel like it was good there was large stains so I, I pointed at it and I'm like what about those stains he's like yeah if it didn't have those stains you know this would be this would be a 7.0 I'm like Ooh, seven wow this guy's okay uh, so again you know i try again he's wanted 350 i said i'll give you 300 no 350 like why are you here i don't understand so that's okay you know i move on to the next vendor i'm like that guy's obviously not not the vendor for me so i go on to uh, other vendors and most of them just would not budge wouldn't even move a little bit you know i uh looking at i think it was maybe spider-man 20 okay i think the guy wanted like 350 again just not this is a different guy uh, you know, I'll give you 275 because I'm hoping to get around the 300 range. 350. Like, okay, I'll give you 310. 350. Uh, okay. All right. So I just, okay, man, you know, there's two people now. I'm just going around. I'm just looking around. And I just kept seeing this happen over and over and over again. People just would not budge, you know? And so it was quite frustrating. I was like, first off, your comic books are already overpriced. You think they're overvalued. I mean, I can look up my phone. I don't need to look up my phone because I, I look at Amazing Spider-Man all the time. That's what I collect. I like comic books in general, but I pretty much mostly only collect uh, Silver Aged or just Amazing Spider-Mans in general. So I know what all these things are worth. Okay. And so like, I don't have to, I don't have to look at eBay, but um, it just seems like these guys were not here to bargain. You know, I, I'm not looking for a freebie. You know, I'm not, I'm not giving these guys 50% of what they're asking. A lot of times I give them 80%, 85% and they just, you know, once I see that you're not willing to budge on anything, it's like, why are you here? This should be a mutual thing, right? If you want eBay prices, I would say go on eBay. Okay, definitely go do that. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I purchase on eBay all the time too. But this is kind of like a convention for us to to work together on, okay? So, you know, I, you're there to, to make a profit. I get it. But I'm here to get a bargain at the same time, right? So let's meet somewhere in the middle so both of us benefit. And when you when you put these prices, these outrageous prices, which are over market value, it's just silly to me, okay? And you could see, or I could see, a lot of these guys weren't getting business, okay? Uh, and I wasn't going to give my business to anyone, regardless if they would if they wouldn't even budge five bucks, right? I'm not giving you my business. That's, I'm sorry if you're not willing to budge at all on uh, you know five hundred dollars. There was some five hundred dollar comic books I would have paid for, right? If you would have just moved down to four fifty, you know, I was willing to spend money today. That's that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say exactly how much I wanted to spend today, but I was willing to purchase key issues of Amazing Spider-Man's today. Um, 
price obviously affects it but at the same time i was ready to buy three key issues at the same time like i was ready to buy things but a lot of these vendors just would not so some of the few ones that did uh we'll start off with some of the i don't know the lower comics that i got um but any like i said there was only probably four people in my experience that were even willing to were willing to negotiate and even if i didn't want that comic book i wanted to support them and so i, I love to support uh other people so um, I felt I picked up this Spider-Man issue three for only $2. Um, I, I don't know. Fantastic condition. I, I just wanted it. You know, it's two bucks, actually two bucks. I mean, come on, two bucks. Who cares? Right. Um, issue two of spawn for four bucks. Sorry about the glares. Really not much I can do but four bucks. I mean, fantastic condition, really. And then I got two comics from a dollar. This is both of these are, or uh, all four of these are from the same guy. He wanted only 50 cents. This is Bloodshot number two. I don't know if that's actually the number two. It probably isn't. Uh, and then Pit. I, I don't know. Something from Spawn, I think, from back in the day. But fantastic condition. I mean, just great. I wish this was boarded. I'm definitely going to board it myself. I wanted to support the guy because he had a great price. And then there was one more comment uh, I bought from that guy. This was only a buck. It's only a buck. The 350th issue of Amazing Spider-Man. This is, again, fantastic. Every single comic book that he had for 50 cents a dollar, $2. He only had up to, like, I think the most expensive comic he had was 5 bucks, And, um, I mean, that was it. And they were all fantastic. And I was like, I want to support this guy, you know. Did I really need these comics that I bought? No. But the fact that, you know, he haggled on something small, I mean, I was like, okay, I want to support this guy. So then the very first comic that I ended up buying today was uh you know uh, uh, an amazing spider-man 197 nothing crazy it's only three dollars three dollars really good condition um definitely not like near men or anything I, I don't know maybe like a 6.5 or something for three bucks issue 197 i'm trying to collect everything under 300 but i'm willing to get like 350 400 just just to say i have it so that meant a lot to me that there was somebody out here i mean a lot of these guys I was so disappointed with. They were selling the most beat up pieces of crap, random, non key Amazing Spider Mans for 20 bucks. I mean, we're talking like these things have, <laughs> have been uh, waterlogged. They've been in the grandma's basin, the attic, or something. I don't know. And they're just in terrible condition. And they're asking 15, 20, 40, 35 dollars because it, it's an old Spider Man, right? This is. That's not how it works, okay? So um, I'm sure if you are a Spider-Man vendor, if you're a Spider-Man trader, if you're at these shows, you should have some idea of what your comics are worth. And, you know, it was just ridiculous. Some other ones that I purchased, um, very, very happy with this. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 194. This was only $10. Now, it is in terrible condition. Uh, it's definitely a reader's copy, but it's good enough to read. And so I, I picked it up. 10 bucks. you know. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these guys, including this guy, wanted to look at the book, right? Uh, every single time was like, ah, so frustrating. I'm looking through your bins. I'm like, I'll take these three. Okay, let me open up my book. Like, oh my God, I hate when people do that, man. It drives me nuts. Like, do you not know your comic book? You don't have that many comic books. Come on. You should know what you want for it. Oh, if, if it were me, I'd do my homework. I'd put a sticker on there, the price. And it was just frustrating because, I again, I'm there for a deal. I am here, not quite flea market level, but I'm here to, you know, bargain some deals. And when you try to, when you say, okay, this is worth this much in my book, like, why? I don't get it. Why are you here, dude? Just go online and sell your comics. I hate to keep saying that, but that's how I felt. Anyway, so later, this guy was pretty cool. Uh, he wanted forty dollars. This is a different uh, Amazing Spider-Man one ninety four. Not the greatest condition, probably like a five five point oh maybe. Um, but he wanted forty bucks, and I said, you know, I'll give you thirty five. And he said, sure, because he knew the condition wasn't great. And um, you know, I just wanted it. Uh, one that I really wish I would have gotten, and I probably wouldn't have gotten this one. It was seventy five bucks. It was an Amazing Spider-Man one ninety four, just like this one. It's about seventy. You know, it was about seventy five dollars. I looked at it. But my rule is to always look around the room and compare prices. So I was like, okay, $75, got it. Let me go around the room. The room was more expensive. I came back just probably 20 minutes later. This is begin the beginning of the show, and it was gone. And it was a decent grade, probably like a 7.075, .0, which is really good for a 194-ish, um, something like that. And I, was, I came back, and it was gone. So that's actually why I ended up buying the lower grade one and – I wanted the reader copy just to have it because I genuinely want to read all the stories and then I want to have another one that I just don't touch. So a little bit sad on that department. Other than that, I mean, I'm looking, I don't think I I, I purchased anything. I mean, I 
Oh, I did. I did purchase one more thing. This other guy worked with me just a tad. It was uh, the first Carnage, 361 Amazing Spider-Man. And he wanted 125 bucks. Everybody else in the room was asking $200 to $50, $300 for like a 9.0 and stuff. I'm like, what the hell? This guy, he added, he was a small little booth. He was just him and maybe 200 comics or 300 comics. Just a cool guy. I started talking to him. He said 125. I said, I'll give you 100 bucks for it cash. He said, uh, you know, how about 115? And again, he was one of the few people that actually worked with me. So I said, okay, whatever, you know, I'll pay him. So I gave him 115. I think I'm going to say it's around a 9.0. It might be a little worse. I wish I would have pressed it because I did turn it into CGC, um, but I didn't really care. Unfortunately, it wasn't the official CGC. These guys charged me $60. And I didn't really think about it at the time because I was talking to these these other guys. This isn't the same person I bought the Carnage from. $60 to get it exp- uh, uh, expedited. And I was like, damn. I feel like I paid like $35 at my local comic book store. I don't know if that was ex, uh, expedited, but $60 seemed incredibly expensive. So I spent $115. What's another $60? Bucks. It'll end up being like $175 for this carnage. I don't even know if it was worth it. Honestly, I think I could have just bought like a 9.2, 9.4 or something around there. There was a guy there and I wish I would have bought it, but my wife was rushing me. My baby was acting crazy. It was a 9.6 carnage, 361. The guy wanted 200 bucks. It was signed. Uh, it wasn't Stanley, unfortunately. I think that's really why I didn't buy. It. I can't remember his name. Uh, Bagley, I, be- I believe. Um, I don't know. I don't really care for his signature. He's cool, but I just didn't really care for his signature. I probably should have bought it, but I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm not, I'm not really looking for that signature necessarily. So um, that's one thing I wish I would have bought. But there's probably 30 booths selling uh, comic books there, at least in my experience today that I recall, and maybe three of them worked with me. Other than that. Like, it was just no, no, no. And my kid, he absolutely loved Captain America, okay? He's only two and a half. He wanted something Captain America. He didn't want a comic book because he doesn't really understand comic books at all. Um, So there were all these toys and stuff, really expensive toys for some piece of crap, like thrown in a bucket toys from Marvel. They're like $10 for like this crappy little figure. I, I said, hey, you know, my kid's right here. My kid's like right there. Either he's in my arm or he's right there. And I'm like, hey, my kid wants to buy this Cat America. We take five bucks for it. I mean, it's a crappy little messed up toy. No, 10. Like really? Like this little piece of crap, dude? Like, and, and so the next ones I go around, these guys had uh, Captain America's like, it looks like you get it from Walmart. And I think you could. Uh, I think I've seen it there. It's 20 bucks, which I thought was ridiculous. Um, but whatever. I said, hey, I'll give you 15 bucks. My, I'm just going to open this right now and give it to my kid. He really needs something, Captain America. And $20. Like, okay. Next guy. Same thing. Same figurine. These guys all wanted like $20, $25 for this 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 figurine. They said they paid like 15 bucks for in the store. Like, okay. It, it just came down to nobody dealing at least in my opinion nobody was there to deal except for just a few people and i wish they would have had some bigger keys because i would have worked with them um but all in all the experience was okay you know i don't want to downplay the experience because there were some cool people there but overall it was just overpriced man i i I wish I wouldn't have gone. To be honest with you, the gas there was not super expensive probably like sixty dollars back and forth uh to get to dallas The entry was $20, which I thought was ridiculous. Uh, Parking was 10, which is fine. And then just nobody would, was willing to, to adjust. So, uh, all in all guys, um, I wish I would have stayed at home. I just would have bought some stuff off of eBay. I, I think it's really unfortunate. I do find a lot of these shows and I'm surprised because this was a small show. I find a lot of them do not haggle with you in any way. You know, especially the larger ones, they're like, this is my price. If you don't like it, leave, you know, and they never say those words. They don't talk like that. Uh, But, um, you know, I think a lot of these guys are not going to sell anything and they're going to be leaving exactly the same stuff they came in with. They're going to be leaving with and they're going to be like, man, nobody wanted to buy my comics. You know, if you would have just adjusted 5%, I swear, if you just, when we're talking about $500 books here, if you would have just said, I'll take $15 off. I probably would have bought it. I'm not even joking. Just 15 bucks off. Just because in my mind, you're here to sell a comic, but it just felt like a lot of people were not there to sell comics. Anyways, guys, I think I've rambled enough. I uh, appreciate you guys. Let me know what you thought of my comic books. Did you like them? Did I get a good deal? You know, blah, 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 blah. Love you guys. Later.